Hi guys, welcome back to Dub Ventures. Now today's video, one of our friends has actually bought a summer camper van project. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna introduce you to the van because we're gonna be documenting some sort of like thing that he's going to be doing to it. So without further ado, let's have a quick look at the van. Guys, as you can see, it's a Volkswagen Caddy and it's gonna be a budget camper van, so let's get in the van, we'll tell you more about it. So guys, um, we're actually on the motorway at the moment and the first thing I will say is this van runs pretty smooth. Now, what we're doing today is we're actually going picking up some parts because this is a camper van that's being done on a budget and it needs some parts. So I'm gonna introduce you to Steve now, very, very close friend of ours, and this is Steve, so is it where it's Steve? Now the first thing I'm going to ask you is, why have you bought a Volkswagen Caddy as a camper van conversion? Well, I bought it because I've always been interested in camping, even as a kid. Um, obviously, I've known you for years, Tom, and I've seen your van. Yeah. I've, I've researched a few things, and I thought it'd be nice for me and the wife to just get in the van and go and just park up somewhere. Well, was, we've just been talking before, turned the camera on, and obviously van life sort of like community is increasing yeah. and everything. And, a lot of people are wanting to get camper vans, but obviously you're doing this on a budget, so yeah. let's talk about the van a little bit, and then we'll tell people how much it actually costs. So, this particular van, yeah. why did you get this van? Um, I was looking on uh, Facebook for sale of swaps, mm. and I was looking at maybe five or six. Um, this one in particular was closer to me to go and pick up. He wanted a bit more money for it, um, now it wasn't running like this no. when you got it, was it? No, when I when I went to view the van, we had to jump start it. Mm. Uh, and the, eventually, the engine was uh, yeah. you've done quite a lot of work to it, haven't you? <laughs> because before I even knew that you got this van, I was getting messages off him and things like, you know, like showing me certain things. I was like, what's he going on about? Um, you know, but basically, you said like the engine was banging on the back of the sort of like. When, engine wall thing, yeah. wasn't it? When, when we got the van running eventually, before I purchased the van, when it was idling, it was violently smacking the back of the frame. Mm. Now you actually took a video of that, so um, I'll put the video so in here so you can see. I, I, I had to get it home from Sheffield. I managed to get it home from Sheffield. It was, it was quite a, a funny moment. It was like Trotter's was independent traders with <laughs> blue and black smoke coming out the back and people driving past me honking their own going. Yeah, so, on, so, yeah. There's something wrong with your van and yeah. things. Um, but I got it home and I spent literally three hours trying to diagnose what was wrong with it. Found a few things wrong with it. Um, put new injectors in it. Um, a breather pipe and had a crack in it, I had to redo that. Um, now the thing is, uh, we're actually going today, because um, you're picking up some panels, aren't you? Uh, a back door. A back door. As you, the back door's yeah. had a plan, yeah. Now, like we said, you're doing this on a budget, so if you want to tell the viewers, how much have you actually paid for this van? The van was up for 900, and I haggled with the young lad, and I got it for six. So you pay six hundred pound for the van. How much have you spent on it so far? I've spent. I've given it a full service, new injectors. You, and you did all the I've injectors done all yourself. The work myself. Yeah, he's done yeah. it. He's mechanically minded, um, not like me. I did. It's cost me all together. I'd say with a new radiator as well that I've just purchased, uh, hundred pound all together. So so far it stands at seven hundred pound. Yeah. And the van is running really, really well now. You did say that it uh, needs a radiator, which you've actually, you've already got, got the radiator. The radiator yeah, You're I'm going picking the door up today, so. Back door today, yeah. So, you know, so far it's not costing you a lot. Now, what we're going to do is, um, we're going to be checking in with Steve every now and again, and sort of like, you know, obviously I'm going to help him with to do some of the work and so on, and like hook him up with some contacts, you know, to get some parts and stuff. But it's going to be really interesting because obviously we're going to have a look about, you know, what's it like doing a camper van up on a budget. Yeah, I can't wait, good adventure. 
So guys, what we're gonna do, uh, when we get here, uh, we're gonna go and pick this door up, and then what we'll do is, we'll give you a bit of a tour inside because there's gonna be a big difference because you've got big plans for this van, haven't you? Big plans, so, big plans. So we'll show you what it's gonna be like at the beginning. And what we're gonna do as we document things along the way, you know, we're going to like, tell you how much things cost and everything, so it can give you guys a bit of an idea, if you're looking to do a camper van up on a budget, how much it could cost you. Right guys, it looks like um, we're being invaded by, I have no idea, so <laughs> give us a wave. Hey! Superheroes are out. Fantastic, great community spirit. Right, we've pulled up. Um, Steve's just going to get in um, the back door and everything. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to give you a quick tour of inside. So, to show the seats and everything, just to give you an idea of like what it is that he's doing. Like I said, we're replacing this door here. And then we've got inside. He's got some of the things ready already to start like making his bed. Get it insulated and everything. Just show you around this side. Turns out we're at the wrong place, yeah? No, we are at the right place. Oh, we're at the right place. Cash is God. Ah, right, okay. Right, so we're gonna go around the corner and go and pick his door up. Did I shut your back door? No, no. I didn't. <laughs> I left the back door open. <laughs> Right guys, uh, he's picked his door up now. What he's going to do is he's going to obviously take that home and apparently you're not fitting it today because you're doing what in your back garden? Going in my lazy spa. He's got a lazy spa, so um, he just informed me that he's not doing any work to it today. Um, he's going to be relaxing because the weather's quite good today. So, But I know for a fact that when you get out of there, you're going to have like itchy fingers and you're going to be like, no, That's right, it. I'm going to do something now. That's it. You're also fitting your radiator this weekend as well. So what I'm going to do uh, in another video, I'm going to like give you updates and so on, and you know, like keep coming backwards, you know, forwards, sort of like it, yeah. see what you sort of like up to, see what you're doing with the van and everything. So now we've just been having a chat down there whilst he was waiting to get his door, and I said to him, so you know, when you've got a camper van, you have to give your camper van a name, and so what are you going to name your camper van? Well, I'm undecided, but if anyone's got any recommendations, please feel free to. Give me a name. So put it in the comments below if you've got any ideas for Steez Volkswagen Caddy camper van ver version, camper van conversion on a budget. If you guys have got any names, put it in the comments below. We'd really appreciate it. Brilliant. Right, so I'm heading home now. I've got a few things that I need to do. Um, me and Brooke have got a few errands to run and we're going to take Thor out and so on. So we're going to keep up to date with Steve, um, you know, show the journey of, you know, his conversion and everything. Because I think some of you guys that have got caddies or looking at, you know, like, again, doing a, a, a campfire conversion on a budget, you know, it'll be a good idea to, like, get some ideas from what Steve's doing and everything. Won't it, so? Um, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to Dub Ventures. I got some of my ideas off Tom's uh, videos, some inspiration, so subscribe. Thank you very much. That wasn't rehearsed, honest. <laughs> right guys, we're back home now, so I've got something to tell you here. If you follow us on our Instagram account, you'll have seen that I did a post saying that we've got a modification on the van coming soon, and this is part of it, so if you need to know more about it, Go on our Instagram account. I'll put the name up here. Go and follow that when you've watched this video. But yeah, got a modification coming soon. I'll give you a bit of a clue of what it is. Any ideas? Hi guys. If you're new to the channel, my name is Brooke and this is Story, which I'm sure you all already know. <laughs> So guys, if you've been following our channel, you will know that we've got a van meet organised for June the 28th in Oswestry. Now, we're still not 100% sure if it's going to go ahead or anything, but what we're going to do is we're going to make an announcement in a week, aren't we, to give like yeah. a definite, like a definite, like yes or no, if it's going to happen. Again, follow us on our Instagram page, Dub Ventures, and then, you know, because that's where we're going to like announce if it's going to go ahead or not. But the thing is, whether it goes ahead or not, we've decided by popular demand, and you know, it's true that it is by popular demand, we're going to do another online van meet. Now, if this is the first time on the channel, what we've done is we've done some videos with everything with the lockdown situation where 
we've been like getting our viewers, you know, on Facebook and Instagram, Twitter. Yeah. Uh, obviously like you know YouTube and things like that and they've been sending pictures across of not they yeah and we've had a few people who haven't been able to go in the last ones and mm. have asked if we can do another one and they've sent us some pictures already so mm. so basically what we do is we get pictures of you guys vans whether you're camping you know out and about you know doing your van up um, because we've had some vans that are late in the process of being turned into a camper yeah. van sent them and then what or we if you've done something new to your van if you've already been in the videos before yeah, you've and you've been doing something new us. why not show them and what it'll give us ideas for our van yeah as well. and what we're going to do is we're going to put um, together another uh, online van meet that you guys can get involved with and you know with the lockdown hopefully coming to an end soon with the campsite restrictions it'll hopefully being lifted yeah it'll get us ready to actually go to the van meet so send your pictures in to I'll put everything here to either our facebook page and if you have any instagram page well, twitter page and if you have any pets send us little pictures of your pooch or your cats or yeah any pigeons. pet any pets are in pigeons i meant budgies but budgies <laughs> Guys, you if you've got pictures of your budgies in your camper van, send them over, and you know we'll we'll, we'll put that as a thumbnail. That'll get if you whoever sends us a picture over with a budgie in the camper van, you're gonna get a special mention. You get a special mention on our Instagram, Facebook page, and everything. So there's gonna be someone that's got budgies in the camper van, haven't they? What have you set off there? The amount of fish. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> Guys, seriously, I'm curious now. Does anyone take their fish on camper van um, trips or motorhome <laughs> trips or camp, you know, in their tents or anything Hamsters. like that? And, oh, do you know what? If it's not a dog or a cat and you take it on your camper van trip, send us a picture of it, but it has to be in the camper van and we'll get it on our online van meet. Right guys, that's it for today's video. Um, you know, if you are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Oh, I've got to show you this. Got to show you this. Enjoying that though, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, loving that. Squat down so you can be in the end of the video. So yeah, if you are new to the channel, what do you need to do, Brooke? Hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. Yeah. And thumbs up. So come on, it's free if you press that subscribe button. It really helps our the channel. The more you do, the better we can become. Yeah, you know we are growing as a channel. You know but we want to like grow and grow and you know bring you guys more content. You know we're hoping to regularly get like two videos a week up and everything. So have you pressed it. Excellent, Yay. there you go. Thank you very much. So what we're going to be doing, you know, like in up and coming videos, you know, we'll give you updates and things of um, obviously Steve who's Volkswagen caddy van that you've seen before because he's converting into a van. Now I asked him off camera. I asked him off camera how long does he think that it's going to take. Now he thinks he's going to get it completely done in about two months, which is perfect because that just takes it to the end of summer. Hopefully, like lockdown restrictions will be lifted and so on. Yeah, because we, we, you know, we've already said we're going to go on camping trips and everything. Because him and his wife, you know, me and Brooke and Thor, you know, we, we, you know, it'd be good to like have a sort of like camping buddy uh, type of thing, you know, to go with and everything, yeah. and you know, and like meet more of you guys, you know, on the road and everything. Yeah, hopefully, go on some camping trips with some of our subscribers. I know. Um, now we have got like a lot of plans coming up and everything. So you know, as you watch each video you're gonna like see more and more and obviously the more we come out of lockdown the oh. more we can actually get back to I'm gonna, normal i'm gonna have to stand up so but yeah so please do hit that subscribe button uh, we're gonna go now we're gonna go and take this little guy for a walk so until the next video say see you thor yeah bye say see you brooke bye until the next video guys bye for now